So a while back I talked about a technique which you can use to turn any song into a live performance using Ableton. This video is going to be similar but I'm going to talk about a technique that is used by Anomaly. If you don't know Anomaly, he is a pianist and producer and he makes some incredible songs in which he combines acoustic playing with electronic music. In an interview he did with Reverb, he shows you his Ableton session for a live performance with his band. After doing some research, I want to explain to you in more detail how he does this and how you can do this by using the same method as well. Because what he is doing is pretty ingenious. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. So this tutorial is for people that play an instrument live and don't want to worry about changing instruments or sound banks mid-song. Just like Anomaly does, he is playing the keys live, but he does not have to worry about changing the sound of his instrument. Everything is automated using Ableton and that is what I'm going to show you today. So the easiest way to do this is by making two MIDI tracks. One MIDI track is going to receive the data from our MIDI keyboard and the other MIDI track is going to contain all the sounds and plugins and instruments that we want to use. So for example, Anomaly combines playing piano sounds with, with playing synthesizer sounds. So on the second MIDI track, he would have plugins like Keyscape for his piano sounds and Omnisphere for his synthesizer sounds. So let's start off by setting up the MIDI track that receives our MIDI data. First, I'm gonna rename this to the MIDI control and I'm going to select the correct instrument. So for this, I want the input from my Roland Digital Piano, which is this big keyboard right here. So on this track, we're gonna load an instrument rack. And on this instrument rack, we are going to create a chain for every instrument that we want. So let's say we want a piano sound and we want an organ sound. In that case, I'm gonna create two chains. One is going to be for the piano and one is going to be for the organ. So to send the MIDI information to our second MIDI track, we need an external instrument, which is a device in Ableton, and we're gonna load this on both chains. So right now, obviously, we cannot send the MIDI anywhere because we don't have an instrument loaded yet. So I'm going to use contact for this. Keep in mind that you cannot use every single plugin. The plugin needs to be able to receive external MIDI data and also be able to play multiple instruments at the same time. This is going to make it a lot easier. A plugin that can do this is called a multi timbral plugin. So we wanted an organ and we wanted keys. So let's load hybrid keys for the keys. And if we scroll down, we can load a second plugin and let's choose 25 because I know this one has an organ preset. So just a quick overview. Now we have a MIDI control track that receives MIDI data and we have a MIDI track with contact on it and two instruments, a piano and an organ. So the next step is to send our MIDI information to contact. To do this, we're going to the external instrument that we loaded previously and we're gonna select MIDI 2 and select contact. And we're gonna do this for all the instruments. However, keep in mind that you also need to select the correct MIDI channel. So in contact, we can see that hybrid keys is loaded to MIDI channel one and 25, so the organ is loaded to MIDI channel two. So that's what we're going to select on our MIDI control track. The piano is MIDI channel one and the organ is MIDI channel two. So now to easily switch between instruments, all we have to do is go to the chain selector Split these instruments to a different chain and we can now move the chain selector to change the instrument. If your plugin is not multi timbral so it does not support playing multiple sounds at once, you can also load it on separate tracks. So we can load contact on a new track and select that one instead for our MIDI select and select that one instead. However, it is important that we only use one MIDI control track to send all the MIDI. So that way we will not have to automate the record arm buttons, which is gonna take a lot of work. Now, if we want to have a different instrument for a different part of the song, all we have to do is automate this chain selector. Let's quickly make an example. So let's say for the first part of our song, 
which is gonna start right here for the intro we want our piano and for this part of the song which is gonna be our verse we want the organ all we need to do is automate the chain selector by making a new automation lane for the intro we want zero because that is the piano for the verse we want one because that is the organ if we now play the intro you can hear that we have the piano and if we get to the verse you can hear that it switches to the organ another way to quickly organize this, your song instead of using markers is by using an actual midi track for that so this is going to be just an empty midi track we can call this songs for example and we're going to create empty midi clips so we're going to create one for the first and create one for the intro and we're going to label this intro and this first and the cool thing about this instead of using markers is that you can also give them different colors and by collapsing it like this we have a very easy way to see the different parts of a song so these are the very basics of setting up the Ableton project to play live without having to think about switching instruments this is however only part one and in the following parts of this series we're gonna take a look at more advanced things like for example how to split instruments across your keyboard and how to send external effects to instruments for different parts of a song if you don't want to miss that please subscribe to this channel and turn notifications on so you get notified when i upload a new video and leave a like if this is something that you're into thank you for watching my name is matt flank peace out